Now hear me. It's time to pray against the forces that sit on the destinies of men. Do not forbear with evil. Every time you forbear with evil, it multiplies. Every time you forbear with evil, it multiplies. I want to pray for you right now. For those in front here, I declare and declare supernatural impartations that this anointing that has come upon you, you will put it to good use for the glory of the name of Jesus. And everything that represents the attribute of the flesh, let it be cut away right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. If they can, once they are fine, they can return to their seats so that they clear the space for others. Now hear me. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the sons of Jacob will possess their possessions. We believe and we teach the whole counsel of God. Including his desire to see his people free from every demonical influence that will not allow them to serve God acceptably. And it is based on this that I want to pray. Please listen to me. There are all kinds of oppressions and oppressions are at, at different levels. When the devil oppresses you, it does not negate the fact that you are a Christian. This is why he gave gifts. Paul was buffeted again and again. Are we together now? David was a man who had an evil spirit come, I mean Saul, an evil spirit come to torment him. Now I want to pray. Because there are people whose lives and destinies have been trapped. To rise up, they cannot rise up. To go forward, they cannot go forward. There are families that have been marking time. You know you are oppressed when the only thing growing in your life is your age. If the only thing growing is your age, nothing else growing. It's an oppression. I want to pray for you now. Hallelujah. God is giving me a very interesting instruction. Please hold on guys. Hallelujah. You see, when you are ministering, one of the things that we must learn is that you must discern the voice of God. Even while we minister, He's Lord over what we are doing. Hallelujah. In a very strange way, the Lord is asking me that we should just be silent and there are people who are oppressed. I'll ask them to resume. But right now, while we are standing here, the Lord, I'm going to speak Genesis 1, 2 to 4. And the moment I begin to pray, if for any reason there is someone under the sound of my voice who either personally or whose family has been under the influence of strange and wicked spirits, the moment I begin to pray, that fire from heaven will bring not only visitation but a separation. Now I want to pray. Listen to me. Here is the instruction God is giving me. There are two people who are going to shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everybody. Now I can pray. I want you to bring them out. Father, I decree and declare everyone who is under the influence of any spirit other than the Christ right now I decree and declare from the front to the back from the left to the right, Makata Skatete Bakata. This is your season of liberty. Help them. Just help them so they don't injure themselves. Whether you are an usher or not, just help them and guide them forward. I really apologize, Pastor, having to bring people. Quickly, please bring them forward. Right now, I declare, at the count of three, the Lord is going to begin to minister deliverance and those yokes will start breaking. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. One. Two. Three, I decree and declare, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. The power of God is setting you free. Please bring them out, my goodness. Help them. Yokes of darkness. Yokes of delay. All kinds of ordinances of darkness. Tying down destinies. In the name of Jesus, be free. 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 Bring them out. Enough is enough by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
I'm seeing people's feet tied so that they don't move forward. But fire is coming right now. Everything that has tied your advancement. I decree and declare, let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Go forward in the name of Jesus. There are some of you, even though you are in November, before the end of this year, everything God said he would give you, from January till November, within one month, I'm speaking it prophetically, it comes into your life. There are ministries here. You have experienced stagnation in different levels. You are sincere. You love the Lord. But it looks like an attack just came over your ministry. An attempt to frustrate the work. Right now I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Every embargo sitting on any work here that should glorify Jesus. I declare that embargo lifted now. I'm seeing the number 25. And I'm seeing veils covering the eyes of the faces of those people. You see, when the favor of God is upon you, in the realm of the spirit, it shines your face. As said from scripture, everything that covers your face is hindering favor from your life. And based on the integrity of scripture, I don't know where they are. But if there is anybody here... You once walked in a realm of favor, but now everybody forgets you. Every good person who can be there to be used by God to help you, you are connected to people who can be used by God, and yet you don't find them at times of help. I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, may that veil be torn into pieces. Hear me. One of the graces that is upon this house, house on the rock especially, is the grace for influence. And there are many of you who are connected to this house, and yet that grace has not spoken over your life. I want to lend my voice with your pastor to release that grace afresh. You should not be doing something and you are hidden. It is called a house on a rock. Not a house inside a hole. No. No. Everything that has failed to find visibility in your life, please believe it. Whether it is your ministry, your work with God, your business, I decree and declare that by reason of this conference and in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God, I declare right now, find visibility. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me pray for the sick. Please lay your hands right now. All those who are in front, I declare that every spirit that has oppressed you and would not let you go, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I speak as one sent. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. At the count of three, release their destinies never to return. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Out of their destinies. Out of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release their destinies right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Release them now. Please lay your hands. I want to pray for the sick. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch. Is flowing, Jesus. I, Madam, this woman, lay your hands on your stomach. I'm seeing the power of God touch you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Let the life of Jesus 
be ministered to your body right now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God be healed completely in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I have been a victim of oppression in the area of sickness I know what it means to receive a miracle you see let me tell you why the healing ministry is very important according to the law of territory if you do not sustain a healthy body you are not authorized to function in this realm are we together now so you need there is a requisite level of health that allows your spirit to coexist with your body if your body is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold the spirit will have to leave are we together now so every manifestation of sickness is an administration of death in process this is why the healing ministry is powerful it's not just about showing that a man of god is powerful no he sent them two by two and he gave them a commission he said as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick cast out devils raise the dead freely you have received he says freely give lay your hands now believe jesus all those tumors all those growths don't forget about it you just focus on jesus i want to pray you are the house that is on a city the rock that cannot be hidden let me pray for this man Andrew, what do you do, sir? Public servant. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead. That everything that represents... What's the issue? Why is he crying? Please find out. Just someone politely find out from him. Your father has cancer. So just take it's okay it's okay just take it easy just take it easy you don't have to cry you're welcome that's why you came here we're going to pray he's crying because his father is a pastor and he has cancer very touching isn't it let me define compassion for you one of the principles of the flow of the anointing god will grant us another time to be able to teach on it is that you must sustain compassion compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity you have to be touched. That is why many times in your training process, you will often taste the things you will set people free from. So that it emotionally connects you to that anointing. That every time you see people in that pain, you remember. You, you can draw from the archives. Pain is a gift. Not all pains are demonic. You cannot serve God acceptably until there is historically it may not necessarily be god causing it but he's a master at using everything around your life to become a tool to build you do not throw away your pain your pain is a gift that will become a gateway for the anointing to flow in your life there is a level of innocence that does not allow the anointing flow when you have gone through pain you will know what it means to administer to those in pain If everyone's face were covered in heaven, you will still know who Jesus is. Because he's the only one that carries the nails. You would think because he's seated at the right hand, everything should heal. It remains there as a testament that he is Savior. The one who died for our sins. Not even in heaven are the hands. Everyone who has genuinely had an encounter with Jesus, they will tell you. You will know he's Jesus. Not just because the name is written on him, but you will see. That sacrifice remains a memorial forever. I want to pray. Andrew, God bless you. What do you do, sir? I'm working as a consultant to a company about to be the refinery. A, fina a refinery. Do you believe if I pray for you, God can lift you? You believe that? There is a prophetic dimension to anything. It does not it does not create it is not a license for laziness now this is a balance because many people in the body of Christ sometimes may not be diligent they are just waiting for the prophetic to do everything the prophetic comes and at, as an advantage it is activated at the instance of diligence are we together now 
diligence is the platform that makes the prophetic efficient so i want to pray for you please hold my hand stand up father you have anointed us to bless i release this grace upon this gentleman walk wonders to him right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ please come sir in the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord help you and show you mercy in jesus name i pray now please lay your hands let me pray for the sick like this my dear brother who is crying over his father you can stand in for him my friend don't worry don't feel stupid for crying i know that it's coming from a sincere heart many of you have lost loved ones and you know the pain let me tell you this sometimes when you see people like this i thank god for this ministry because it's a ministry that is excellent and yet flexible enough to be able to attend to needs like this like him believe god for a miracle shall we pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name our father hear us from heaven forgive our sins we pray don't we are few we're surrounded by many who have lost that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the lord Father, in the name of Jesus, here at House on the Rock, Port Harcourt, Activate Conference 2021, I decree and declare right now that the healing power of Jesus, now please listen, here's what I want you to do. I want to pray for you. We'll do this in about a minute or two. And some of you, even whilst you came forward, miracles were already happening. I sense a very strong anointing. You don't have to bring anyone under the anointing. Just help them. When I pray for you, I want you to believe and shout a resounding amen. And then immediately, I want you to check yourself. I want us to shame the devil in this house. Check yourself. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, whether you are inside or outside, even following online. Here's what I want you to do very quickly. I want you to make your way when I ask you to, to come to either of the aisles here or here. And even if it's just two or three testimonies we take to confirm the things that God is doing in the midst of his people. Is that all right? Now believe Jesus for a miracle. And all of you who are watching from your homes, you're watching anywhere and everywhere, I want you to release your faith from every nation, from Europe to U.S., africa here in nigeria believe jesus for a miracle right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke the spirit that is back of every infirmity here represented and in the name that is above all names i decree and declare right now from the crown of your head my god such an anointing is flowing to the soles of your feet be healed now Be healed now. I administer the power of God to your body. I command every growth dissolve now. Every swelling go down now. Every tumor disappear now. Migraine headaches be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcers of all sorts be healed in Jesus' name. Every blood condition, I decree and declare, be healed in Jesus' name. HIV, be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Any and all bone conditions, 
be healed in Jesus name if you are here on crutches you are here on a wheelchair I declare be healed in Jesus name every blind eye whether partially or completely blind be opened in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be opened in the name of Jesus pain lower abdominal pain the power of God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus there's something called tonsillitis there's someone you've been suffering this it comes and goes it comes and goes very inconveniencing right now as I'm praying for you the power of God is touching you in the name of Jesus Christ pile painful pile I decree and declare be healed now there's someone you have this inconveniencing pain under your foot just under very painful when you stand sometimes you have to break and check yourself I decree and declare be healed right now in Jesus name it started for you like muzzle pull what we call what we know to be muzzle pull you know that that strain on on your 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 your, your lap area here but now is it seems it's degenerated to something very very painful and serious affecting your walk but in the name of Jesus I declare right now be healed in Jesus name Amen. be healed in Jesus name Amen. now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God here at activate conference 2021 I bring you the life and the healing power of Jesus and for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones like this my brother here I decree and declare wherever they are across this nation and around the globe may the angel of God's presence go with the healing power of Jesus to them in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be cleansed in Jesus name now hear me very quickly in the next one or two minutes we're out of time I want you to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you I want you very quickly we'll just take the first few people who can make it for some of you even whilst you fell under the anointing a miracle happened to you people are coming are you celebrating them as they come check yourself whether you are inside or outside the moment you find out that a miracle has happened please make your way to the front right now very quickly let every other name fade away keep coming let every other name until there's only you, let every other name. Jesus, take your place. Come on, celebrate miracles. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Are you ready? Let's have a few of the testimonies. Yes, please. Very quickly. No, no, no. Hold on. Just stand. If someone can reach them with a mic there, okay. Just Let's just have one mic so that a pastor or anybody can stand with them. So, very quickly. Yes, sir. Yeah. Heal of three weeks. Repain. Repain. Yeah. For how long, sir? For three weeks. Check yourself now. Check yourself. Any pain? Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, he will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Very quickly. Are you ready? Okay. Yes, go ahead. Straight to the point. Apostle, uh, um, before now I've been listening. Don't give them the mic. Just hold it for them. Okay. Before now I've been listening to a lot of your messages online. I, what I, happened to you right now? Right now, okay. The healing um, ministry is accepted. Okay, that, that okay, they call that, on me. 
I say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Right now, because you believe, I stretch my hands and I seal that call. By the power of the Holy Spirit, carry that anointing and work wonders to bring glory to the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yes, please, very quickly. Next person. Hallelujah. Amen. So I've been having pains at my right hand side. Since I was in primary school, I wow. was having these pains. And there was a time my husband took me to the doctor for operation. They said they don't see anything. So yes, the I pain is there. Pain, yes. Okay. So as we were praying, yes. I just lay on there. I called my daughter. There was my daughter that invited me here. Yes. That I should come. So as I put my hand there, I just tell my daughter, I don't see pains again. No. Completely gone. Look at this. Walk and see if there is any pain. Check yourself. Any pain. Are you celebrating miracles? This is a mother right from primary school. In the name of Jesus, he will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Very quickly. Fupai. Come again. Painful pie. Fain, painful, painful, pile. painful pile. For how long, my dear? 2019. From 2019. And right now, you don't feel pain again. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, I usually have a pain here. It grows right here in my, close to my private and why a growth. Yes, yes, are you yes. are you seeing what God is doing? You see, and just yes. Like, and I always have a big pain. It usually comes. And right pain. now, it's gone. It's gone. In Woo! Jesus' name, it never returns to you again. Mm-hmm. Yes, please go ahead. I have this pain that I've been here for years. It comes. I've gone to a hospital. The doctor they put that knows what it is. And right I now, I exercised my favor. I was in the service. The pain came. But as we are ministering, I can't feel it again. Ah. Completely. Check yourself. Completely gone. He will never return to you again in Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been having hot and, and cold sensation for three years now. And you mentioned my case. You did not only mention that. You also mentioned muzzle pull and pain under the feet. Instantly, as you mentioned it, everything is happening. Completely. Check yourself. Any pain. Completely. It's gone. Yes, sir. Celebrate with her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Let's have just two or three more people and then I'll just do a general prayer and speak over you. Yes, okay, please. I have this pain in my eye because I do read at night and it's so bad that I can't even look at um, the screen. My eyes will be paining me. But now I can look at the screen. You can look at the screen. Yes. Look at the screen. Any pain? No pain. No pain. Come on, Portacot. Is this how you celebrate miracles? Yes, please. I've been having a toothache for the past three weeks and it's very painful at this side of my jaw and right now I'm completely gone yeah. it will never return again in the name of Jesus yes please I actually have pains on my joints and since yesterday I've been feeling pains on my joints and on my shoulders so when we are in ministry I pray to God that I will not go home and take pain relief or injections and I will be fine and now I feel free completely May that freedom remain forever in Jesus' name. Yes, please. I had a serious um, difficulty in swallowing. It's been on for months and pain in my leg. I couldn't walk comfortably. Completely. It's gone. In Jesus' name, it will never return to you. Yes, please. Hallelujah. This morning I woke up and gradually the pain started building in all my joints. But while you started praying, Apostle, I could no longer feel it. It was like when it was like the cord was on my head and it was washing wow. down. All, all it will never return to you again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Apostle, I've been having pains like almost a week now in my chest. I've just been enduring it. Even before I came to service this night, I even thought of not coming. But while you were praying, I could not feel any pain anymore. In the name of Jesus, I can't feel any pain again. In the name of Jesus Christ, to the glory of the name of the Lord, He will never return to you again. Amen. Yes, please go ahead. For two years now, I've been having chest pain, severe chest pain. Mm. But as we are praying, something started moving on my chest. Completely. <laughs> if I know it. In the name of God Jesus, God. yes, please. God bless you. Yes, go ahead. Praise the Lord. I um, a nail pierced through my leg last two weeks, and since then I noticed that my leg was swollen. Though I didn't take any medication, but right in this service, everything disappeared. I'm set free. You can walk. Look at me, my dear. In the name of Jesus, any pain, any pain there, I declare it will never return to you again. Yes. I was the one you spoke about. I had a muscle pull a certain time last year. I had a muscle pull and. My left thigh, I started feeling the pain at my joint here, the left thigh. 
he graduated and, and, and centered the second, my right thigh, and no. said, feel the pain. But now, as you are praying, the pain was. In the name of Jesus, he will never return. Yes, please. So, I've had this um, pain at my lower back that gives me so much strain while standing, sitting, or walking. But while the prayer went on, I can't feel any pain anymore. Completely. And it's gone. Okay. Yes, please. God bless you. Good evening, Apostle. Yes. Usually, uh, this thing is a sensation in my right ear. Is with your right ear? Yes. Okay. It's itching. When you ask us to put our hands there, I laid my hands and I can't feel it. Either. Hallelujah. Now, praise God. Um, for, for sake of time, sadly, we may not be able to take all of the testimonies, but I'd like you to be upstanding while I just pray for these people and then I'll speak over your life. What happened to you? Come. Since you made that bold declaration. No, don't give her the mic. Let me hear. What's your name and your testimony? Go My ahead. name is Onye. For like two years, I've been having lower abdominal pain. It's gone. Yes. Um, my neck for like one and a half years, I've been having this pain. It's gone. Then I used to heal. I used to pray for people when I was much younger. And they get healed. Not some, not instantly. Some instantly. But I didn't take it seriously. But today I think it's back. Don't think. I know it's You bad. came for a conference in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, it will return to you in full measure. And I pray that you will use it to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. you thank you for watching this wonderful video by God's servant Apostle Joshua Selman in case you have been blessed so mightily by the Lord through his word and via his servant I do like you to strike the subscribe button and to click on the notification bell to stay updated for more of Reflector Hub's TV content videos and do well to share to your loved ones family friends neighbors and also get them blessed see you in the next content God bless you